I kind of think it'd be nice if all of us were registered as independents and only the candidates had to delineate themselves by philosophy, because we'd be the only, only one standing. Please help me welcome Barry Neff. Mostly right, that's kind of unusual being a libertarian, because usually we get it wrong. Even the pollsters have us listed not by name or by party, but as some other. When I became a libertarian in 1987, um, but it, it really it caused some rifts personally, where Republicans that I had been friends with wouldn't talk to me anymore, and that I had sold out. And I was like, wait a minute, aren't we in this for our families? Is it about the party preserving it, or is it about preserving America? And I chose America. I don't know if I've given any speeches at this height before. Well, I tell you, it, it's probably one of the most astonishing privileges that any man can ever have to represent uh, a district in the United States Congress. Uh, well, I tell you, when you're talking about a lot of third party candidates, uh, they've traditionally made a pretty big difference um, in a lot of different ways. In Mr. Hess's case, for instance, uh, when he ran for governor, when Ms. Napolitano and, and Matt Salmon were in the race, uh, if Barry Hess hadn't been in the race, uh, Janet Napolitano would very likely not have won as governor. What is fascinating to me is when you see it, because I hear it from Republicans and Democrats that we steal their votes as if they own them. I think that's childish. Now, Barry Hess and I know each other very well. We're good friends, and I respect Barry. Well, Trent is, is one of the rare people who has lied to me eyeball to eyeball, and so as a politician, um, I've lost respect. Uh, when it comes to fiscal policy and, and free enterprise and things of that nature, I'm very close to libertarian myself. In fact, I, Trent would be the first one to tell you he's a libertarian. And I'd like to finish the job and then go home. And I'll go home right now. Thank you all very much. <laughs> You know, this is the second time uh, Barry and I have been in an election together, and he's got a very, you know, he's got a point of view. I don't agree with it, but he's, he's a nice guy. The people I run against tend to give me plenty to shoot at because they're all lying. You know, I got to this race because I believe very strongly that my core values. I thought there was something to this politics. I actually believed in the idealized version of these guys really want to help America. And you know, since then, I've grown a little more cynical that those are the core values of the people of the state of Arizona. And I have believed that for many years. The newspapers quote these polls as the gospel. And I would tell people that unless they give you the exact text of the question, the control group that they called, um, and you know uh, the surrounding circumstances of how that poll was taken, they should assume that they are lies, that they're actually being manipulated. Right now I help him by putting up signs, driving them to and from events when I can, when I'm not going to school. And uh, just any, any little job that needs to get done, whether it be go pick him up food so he doesn't have to take the time to do that, to you know answering some phone calls for him. Uh, I just pretty much do everything for him. I, uh, there was some, some resistance. Uh, my wife, uh, was she understands that when I get into something, I really want to do a good job and do the most that I can. I don't think she's a real fan of me working at it 20 hours a day and then exhausting myself and waking up a day later just because uh, I'm just out of it. But I want to do the best I can. Um, and she, of course, has, has concerns that uh, not only my health, but my attentions. Uh, my son has been very supportive. My entire family has been, my extended family. In our daily life, it's kind of interesting because we still have dinner as a family, which is, is unique, which is kind of cool. But he's, he's always on the phone. Uh, we usually eat dinner around 10, 10.30 p.m. every night, uh, which is not normal. So that's probably a difficult thing because I can't talk to him uh, in terms of if I have a question, I feel rude by interrupting. I think we will. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. Pretty much anything you can think of. We shuffle in a lot of volunteers, make a lot of phone calls, 
um, coordinate a lot of things, a lot of running around, a lot of exciting things happening, but it's always really busy and there are always people here, so. This, this is, this is the heart. This, this is where the center of communications happens. We had to get down to Tucson to an editorial board, so we left it at like 5.30. And so we went through that rigmarole, got down there, got dressed up, changed back into our shorts, put up a few signs on the way, you know, because we all do everything. We are CEO and janitor uh, of the whole shot, put up some signs, and then we immediately Clean Elections is, is one of those, another government program that is named exactly the opposite. And what it is, is taxpayer funding for campaigns. Janet likes to say, in particular, that, well, it frees her up so she can go out and talk to people rather than have to worry about raising money. And, and reporters have, have asked me this all the time. How much money have you raised? As if that's some indicator of your seriousness or your substance. And Len, I really haven't talked much about him. He's, he says, we should use the clean elections, and then once he gets in, he's going to get rid of it because it's wrong. Hmm. That's like, if, if we kill you, we can stop murder. Joining me now is Libertarian candidate Barry Hess, the Republican challenger Lynn Munsell, and Democratic incumbent Janet Napolitano. I'm no psychic, but I can tell you exactly what's going to happen here tonight. We're going to have a Democrat, and she's going to tell you that she knows how to run your life, raise and educate your children, and spend your hard-earned money better than you can. Now, the Republican is going to be a little bit different. He's going to tell you he knows how to run your life, raise and educate your children, and spend your hard-earned money better than the Democrat. As the Libertarian, I have to tell you the truth.